I could just stand there. Um, my minions just do everything. I don't have to do anything. My minions do absolutely everything for me. I just AFK. I could stand here. I could go use the bathroom or go eat a sandwich. Best season ever to be a necromancer. It is no secret that necromancer is god tier this season. Best build. No necessary uniques. It's just all around the best season to be a necromancer. Plus, you get to AFK as much as you want. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Now, today, I want to customize the necromancer in my own style, in my own way. I'm level 75 right now. And I'm very fast reaching level 100. And this season, for sure, I'm going to go and take Lilith out. But I do want to make the Necromancer more my own. Not just following what people say. I want to make it more my own. And that's part of the game. And that's part of what I enjoy of the game. So, I'm, I really have problems with my mana. But I'm still going to keep, obviously, the minion build because it's just too good, man. It's too good. But let's get into it and see how the hell I'm going to make this work for me. So the usual build usually uses Decrepify with the increased cooldown for the, any skill. I changed it to Iron Maiden because I, I really hate my, my issue with my essence running out. So Iron Maiden restores my essence. As you can see right here, wait. No longer cost essence and gain five essence for each. So I love that. I love that. And with that, I added Iron Maiden also right here in my chest. Iron Maiden also it is a darkness skill and deals shadow damage. Enemies affected by Iron Maiden have 25% chance to get stunned. 25% to get stunned is really good. So we go back to the skills and if we look right, where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. 15% chance to stun and like that accumulates and with this increase your damage increase your shadow damage to enemies who are chilled increase shadow damage to enemies who are stunned and mobilized or frozen so there you go stunned and it's a nine percent increase on top of that so they're pretty much going to get stunned. Everything else in the build is pretty much the same as usual. We use Blight, and I want to use Blight a lot. I want to constantly use it. So that's our main source. I want to use it. I want to be active. I don't want to just be an AFK Necromancer. I want to be playing the game. So I'm going to use Iron Maiden and then, of course, Corpse Tendrils to make them vulnerable. Army of the Dead because it's amazing. Over here, minions gain more armor and element, uh, element resistance. Increased damage when you're close to the minions. Like the, the basics that, uh, the of Season 4, like the basic Necromancer build for season four. Now, if we look at my gear, I have this amazing temer temerity. I love this. I love it. I love it. I want to get in a higher level. It's only level 55. I could do better. I could do better, but it's so good. It constantly has a, a barrier on my character. And with that, I combined it with this, which deals 22 because that's how how far I made it. I want to get the 25 one. 22% increased damage when I have a barrier. So the rest, as you can see, is the usual. Summoning minions increases their attack speed. 
Then over here, Army of the Dead. Minions gain 88 increased damage and take 90% less damage. In my weapon, I have Shadow Blight Key Passive. In my shoes, I have Skeletal, skeletal Priest also Empower You at 67. I gotta get it to 70. Empower me as well. And then the gloves, skeletal priests, empower your skeletal warriors to deal shadow damage. That is essential. And a chance to stun. So once again, another stun effect. So that's three stun effects. I showed you the chest. And then in my head, of course, I increased my, my amount of skeletal warriors and skeletal minions. I got all the legendary aspects I want. Do I have the perfect gear? No. But I don't think you really need the perfect gear unless you're gonna do the pit or anything like that. I think for the basics of the game, so I like using uh, light a lot. So I constantly will shadow maiden the enemy and I could constantly use light which I really like. I could constantly use Blight. The more enemies, the better it is. The more I'll restore my... So I'll be a more active Necromancer, not just sitting around, basically. Because I could just... I could just stand in Helltide, to be honest, and let my minions do their thing. That typical AFK Necro. But I actually want to be active and I want to be like, all right, here I could show you an example of how pretty much I could AFK. And I could just stand there. Um, my minions just do everything. I don't have to do anything. My minions do absolutely everything for me. I just AFK. I could stand here. I could go use the bathroom or go eat a sandwich, do anything. And, you know, the enemy will keep spawning in. And no problem. I could just AFK the hell. Look, look. Nothing. Nothing. I, I'm doing nothing. I could just AFK my Necromancer. No problem. But I really don't want to do that. So that's why I made this build. I customized the build so I could be more active as I'm playing. So first of all, let me use a potion. Let me use just any old potion. Now let's activate this real quick. This is World Tier 4. I'm by myself. It's, it might not go well, but I really like the fact that now I could be super active. Like, not just waiting for my minions to do everything. I could actually go and do pools of light all over the place, which I really like. And I could just constantly use Iron Maiden over and over, which gives me, it gives me engaging gameplay. I don't just want to be AFK because what's the point? If for that, you might as well just leave me at level 100. What's the point of even playing the game? So yeah, as you can see right here, it's working hell of a well for me. The fact that I just could infinitely blight, basically. Especially the more enemies, I constantly throw Iron Maiden and it gens all my mana. And I'm good. I, I really gotta say, I love how they fix health. I, I really do. I feel like they did an amazing job. Oh snap. Now obviously these things can kill me. I cannot AFK uh, a world boss like this. I have to move and avoid uh, the main damage dealers. If not, I'm not gonna get any experience if I'm dead. Let's get some skeletal mages going and avoid all the fire we can. But yeah, I really like 
And it's... I like putting uh, my own twist on things. I just don't like going for the meta all the time. Go playing Necromancer. Technically, if you're playing Necromancer, you are playing the, the meta. There's no excuse there. Especially if you never play Necromancer. But that's just my opinion. Who cares? Enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. Play it however you want. That's the whole point. To do whatever. That's our our games are our escape. No, and I almost died right there. So play as you wish. I'm not ready. Raise some. There we go. Amazing. Amazing. And as you can see, people show up to join the event, which is super awesome. But yeah, that's pretty much the build so far. I really enjoy it. I really like it. But if you agree or disagree, please let me know in the comments your opinions. Because sometimes these opinions are so hilarious. I love it. That's what it's all about. But thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. So there you go, guys. Necromancer is fun engaging you could completely go afk and play it afk if you want you could play it actively if you want necromancer is god this season for sure if you agree or disagree that's why the comment section is there and to be honest guys i really appreciate when you guys start conversations because they end up being hilarious but please leave a like but regardless of comments or not, I really appreciate a like and a subscription would be amazing to see more videos. I will see you guys next time with Diablo 4.